Happy Sunday. Broadcasting again from Michelle's mermaid room. And I just thought I would let you know, yep, everything is still alive. <laughs> some things are actually growing. Um, I had some bulbs come in and I think this is that like tiger lotus, but it's they came out as very skinny, long, look like roots, and then these leaves unrolled, but they're very, they're not really big, but they're getting bigger every day. <laughs> so, um, plants are looking good. I did place an order. It'll come next week. So I'll be, uh, we'll be seeing more angelfish and some big, long, um, like, I think it's called Vala, Valisneria. <laughs> it's a really long, tall grass. Let's face it, this aquarium is two feet tall. So I can have very long, tall grass in here and it'll be cool looking. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a little peek. I had also added some of the plants that I had. Actually, everything, most, most of the plants that I've added in here since you saw this, the last video are plants that I had in this tank when it was set up as a paludarium and it had a very shallow water. So some of these uh, Anubius varieties here were in there and they were doing good and you can see they've got a root system that I didn't bother to mess with. I'm just like letting them, let them, let them have the roots, let them have whatever rocks are still connected to the roots. and. Whatever little chewed up leaves are attached there, I probably need to remove, but I'm not really sure who is eating on them. Um, so I've added, here's another plant that was in the paludarium. All of the plants that were in that paludarium, the aquatic plants, really did suffer before we sold the last house and um, moved. I had put everything into a, basically a, 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 a fishbowl. And so there was nothing rooted, like a plant like this was just floating around, getting chewed on. <laughs> um, and I had, Freddy the Frog, who was the star of that setup, I found him the other day. He had escaped the 10 gallon tank where he's been living and took a trip around the house, ended up in the laundry room where he succumbed to dryness. So there is no more aquatic frog. So I'm thinking about bringing, I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I, I still always think that one tank isn't enough in case there's an emergency, you need a second tank. And my second tank is this project over here. It's a, it's a 10 gallon. So I had plants that were set up in a, Paludarium, you might recognize the Red Sea Reefer uh, cup in the back there holding some plants that I tried to put in some dirt in a pot and after they'd been in the paludarium, they were not having it. So I put them back over here and they don't have a light above them. They're, they're in under this little light here and they're doing fine with sprouting roots. <laughs> oh, and these other things floating around up here. This is something that they use and they'll they they will they were they were they were totally submerged. Um but they did dry out after I moved. Um a lot of shrimp in here. They use these in oh, hydrophonics it's very clean you know it's not it's it's kind of a clay but they're they don't fall apart you can't even I guess with a hammer you could break them up I never messed with them they're these these round clay type of material that you do hydrophonics with and basically a paludarium in a lot of ways can be a hydrophonic farm so I've got a whole bunch of it you see all down here, and this is some of the old substrates, some of the plants that were in the paludarium, and a bunch of shrimp. 
And this is where Freddy lived, Freddy the Aquatic Frog. I think he got bold one day, crawled out on one of these stems of this plant, most likely. And uh, took a trip around the house and did not survive that trip. <laughs> um, yeah, I still, I still am not sure where I'm putting all my stuff. I, all I know is that I needed to have a tank with water and fish. So there. And that's my Sunday report from the Mermaid Room. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by.